A study confirms a sobering statistic. People who use tanning beds are 74% more likely to develop melanoma. ABC 40 Health reporter Elizabeth Corden sat down with one local woman whose quest for that golden glow almost cost her everything. Megan Rothschild has not always taken precautions when it comes to her skin. Self-conscious of her fair Irish complexion, she started indoor tanning when she was 17. Me and my girlfriends would go all the time. We'd go once a week together and we thought we were doing something good and healthy and relaxing. But that weekly fake and bake was taking a toll. And I did that for about two and a half years and unfortunately wound up with stage 2 melanoma. When she was 20, Megan found a suspicious mole on her stomach. Tests confirmed it was cancer. My reaction was, initially it was, you're an idiot, you did this to yourself. And then it was, how do I get through this alive? After many treatments, surgeries, scars, and emotional agony, Megan is cancer-free. Well, although I'm cured of melanoma, it's still something that I have to live with on a daily basis through the choices that I make. She started her own foundation to make sure other people don't make the same mistakes she did. She travels to high schools and colleges, warning students that the pursuit of a golden glow just isn't worth it. I really tell them that, you know, it was the choices that I made when I was 17 years old that caused me to get cancer. And her efforts are being recognized nationally. She's featured in this month's edition of Cosmopolitan Magazine for her work as a skin cancer educator and anti-tanning activist. And as long as I'm maybe convincing one person to think twice about using a tanning bed or going outside in the sun and baking, it's worth it. Along with being featured in Cosmo, Megan is the recipient of a Practice Safe Sun Award and is being honored at a big reception in New York City. For a link to her website, log on to WGTV.com and click on the Health Matters tab. Elizabeth Gordon, ABC 40.